If a computer crashes, Richard Benjamin knows what to do. I, I fix computers for a living. But he was not comfortable with a car crash. I was so shocked I couldn't even think of anything. On a Thursday night, another car smashed into Richard while he was driving in Hollywood. I figured that my vehicle was not drivable, and then I called a tow company from Miami to come get my vehicle. But I didn't realize that the police officer had already called another tow truck company. Hollywood has a contract with Superior Towing to remove cars and accidents, but they would charge $130, so Richard told the officer he wanted to use his friend's towing company because they would only charge him $80. The officer's response? If your guy get before the company that he called, that's fine. The towing company called by the police officer showed up first. Soon as he started hooking up my car, my car was still on the floor, on the ground. And my guy showed up and I said, my guy is there. Can he pick up my car? They said, no, my car is already hooked up. Howard, legally, do you get to choose the towing company or do the police get to choose? You have a right to call the company you want, but by law, the police do not have to wait to clear the scene. And if the towing company they call gets there first, that's who tows the car. The company with a contract with Hollywood then towed Richard's car to their lot. The next day, Friday, Richard says he called to come get the car. And they said, well, the release department is closed. You would have to come on Monday. Richard says a superior towing employee told him they're closed for pickups on Saturday and Sunday, meaning Richard had to pay more storage. And when he was able to get a tow truck to come get the car on Tuesday, he was stunned at the bill. It's going to cost you $401.76. $130 to tow the car, $110 for labor to hook up and drop the car in the tow lot, $120 for storage, throw in $41 for administrative fees and taxes, and Richard had to pay that $401 to get his car back. It's uncalled for. I would, I would hope that... The, the city doesn't give him authorization to do all that. Well, Howard, you looked at the contract and the bill Richard got. Is it all legal? The tow company has a right to close for pickup on Saturday and Sunday. But when Richard called on Friday, they had to release the car. Since they didn't, any charges after that are not Richard's responsibility. I first talked to the spokesperson for the city of Hollywood. Raylan Story told me Superior Towing was a good vendor and had a great reputation, that they were allowed by their contract to not allow pickups on Saturday and Sunday. Also, that Superior told them Richard didn't call or come in to get his car on Friday. Richard then got his phone records that showed he had called Superior Towing on that Friday afternoon. I then called Sean Lascalzo, the owner of Superior Towing. He didn't know that Richard had called on Friday. He told me to make Richard happy, he would return everything except the price of the tow, even the $110 for labor, which he said he didn't have to return. Richard then got his check. Patrick was fighting for me. He was able to recover some money. And today, I'm the happiest man in, in uh, living. I was able to get $271.76 back, and thank you to Patrick. Glad we could help you, Richard. Now, this was what's called a police tow. If you're towed from private property for, say, parking illegally, it's a little different. The tow company is required to post a number at their location so you can call after hours or even when they're closed. Then they have one hour to release your vehicle. If they don't, they can't hit you for storage. Got a problem you want to haul away? Don't let it sit in storage and increase your frustration. Hook up with us. Hopefully we can release you from your headache with no cost at all. Well, this is Help Me Howard. I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.